truly is great. Yeah. It's offering time. Come on and put your hands together and give God some praise. We're going to come to come together to worship God with our giving. We give to God out of the goodness of what he has made it possible for us to have. Not sparingly or begrudgingly, because the Lord loveth a Oh, my God. 
I will guide thee with my eyes. Yeah, Father, we thank you, Father, for this day, Father. We thank you, Father, for everything that you have done for the good of the time, Father. Ask you now, God, I doubt you my own way. My own way, oh, let your will be done in this place. Father, give us the energy of your word, a hard to receive it. Now, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just say thank you, God. We love you. We praise you. Lord, lead and be guided. So if you give us some instruction, mm -hmm. give me a lot of 
sometimes we say we want instruction, but then we don't like to follow But God promised us that He will what? guide us through the instruction that He gives to us. Amen. So He gave us uh, an assignment. And He instructs us. Now, now, all of us have an assignment from the Lord. Amen. Whether we do it or we not, don't do it. But we have an assignment from the Lord. Amen. So during our assignment, He will what? Instruct. Amen. If you uh, 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 ever have medicine to take or you was putting something together, you always got some more instructions. Amen. Well, we follow them up, but sometimes I get some things put together and I just look at it and I say, I know how to do that. Right. Uh, so sometimes I don't really follow the instructions, not from where they start off at. But sometimes you get a little stuck sometimes, then you got to go back and what? Read. Read. You got to learn how to follow the instruction. Right. Amen. So, uh, uh, Jesus gave you assignment. Uh, he, he don't mean that you're going to go by yourself. Amen. Amen. So, he's going to instruct you. So, he gave us assignment. He gave us instruction. What does the Bible say about instruction? Proverbs 16 and 20. Those who listen to instruction. We are prosper. Mm -hmm. Amen. Those who listen to instructions will prosper. We'll be blessed. Amen. Amen. Those who trust the Lord will be joyful. Amen. So if we listen to God and follow his instructions, he tells us we will be what? Blessed. If we follow the instructions. But I believe in this time, a lot of people have a hard time following instruction. They don't want to obey. Amen. The word of God, but number one, so they don't want to follow the instruction. Sometimes we think it's just a shortcut. You know, we, we, the Lord say, go this way, but I'm going to find me a shortcut of how to get there. Amen. So he gives us assignment, and once we get the assignment, we're well, out. I know what to do. Yeah. Amen. So we kind of leave God out. Instead of following this instruction, then we got our own instruction. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But he said those who listen to instruction will prosper and be blessed. Why does God give instruction? God gave us a path for righteousness to live by. And he showed us the right path to live and gave us the instruction to pass down to our children and society that we live in. The instruction that God gave teaches mankind how to live right. Amen. That's what the word does. It teaches how to live right. But it can't teach you to live wrong. It teaches you to live right. Amen. 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 Treat those. It teaches us how to treat those, right? Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us what be kind to one another. Amen. 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 So it teaches us how to treat one another. How to love. God is love. So he teaches us how to love. Amen. Amen. Forgive. He teaches us how to forgive. Some folks say it's just hard to forgive. Amen. But if he teaches you how to forgive, what's so hard about forgiving one another? Amen. If somebody do you wrong, it's so easy to forgive. But God said what? Forgive. He teaches us how to forgive. And what to do and not to do. Amen. It teaches us what to do and not to do. Amen. So the Bible what? Leads and guides us into what? All truth. Amen. It ain't going to teach you to do nothing wrong. 
to lead in God. He said, I'll be a lamp unto your feet and light unto your path. Yeah. Amen. So he leads and he guides us. He, he don't leave us out there by ourselves. Right. Amen. If he give us a sign, then he's going to give us instructions. He's going to tell us what to do. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go over here. I want you to go over there. I want you to do it. I mean, a lot of times we got this thing where we send the Lord everywhere. <laughs> oh, I want you to go over there. He said, I want you to go. Amen. Amen. He gives you instruction, but then you begin to instruct him. Amen. Amen. But he gives us instructions. Because he promised that he will what? Guide us. Yeah. What was God's first instruction? Uh, Ella was left touching on that this morning, right? In Genesis 2 and 15, God's first commandment, commandment to man was to what? Till the land. And so the Lord God took the man he had made and he set it him in the God of Eden. Amen? To till it. In the God of paradise. He put him in to cultivate and keep it, to dress it, to prepare and use for raising crop. Amen. That's what man's supposed to do when he went into God. But we find out that something else, something else happened when he went into God. Amen. It was a beautiful place. It's like paradise in the God. It had nothing to do but just keep it, dress it, cultivate it. Amen. Get it. Just prepare to, to, you know, for the crop to grow. Amen. But something happened in God. Amen. Now, as we go to the scripture I read earlier, Psalm 32 and 8. Psalm 32. They say, I will, Lord. And this is Jesus speaking. He said, I will instruct thee. That's the first thing I discovered in the scripture was the Lord said, I will instruct thee. I will tell you where to go at. I will tell you what to say. I will tell you what to do. I will instruct thee. Seventh thing was to say, and teach thee. Mm -hmm. The Lord is not a teacher. He said, I will teach you. Whatever I will have for you to do, I'm going to teach you. Amen? Yeah. A lot of times I say, well, he gave me a sign, but then I don't know what to do. He said, I'm going to teach you. Amen? Then the next thing, let's go, he said, in thy way which thou shalt go. In the way that which thou shalt go. I will instruct you, I will teach thee, and in the way that they shall go. I'm not going to send you the way you want to go, but I'm going to send you the way that I want you to go. Amen. This is what the Lord is saying. I'm going to instruct you. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to send you the way that I want you to go. I'm going to have you to do what I want you to do. I'm going to have you to say what I want you to say. I'm going to have you to do my assignment. I mean, I'm going to be some help. Amen. I'm not going to put you out there on the limb all by yourself. Amen. When I get your assignment, I'm going to be there with you. He said, I'll never leave you, I'll forsake you, but I'll be with you to the end of time. So if he's going to instruct you, amen, or he's going to give you assignment, then I mean he's going to instruct you what to do. He's going to teach you. Amen. He's going to be there with you all the way. He's going to be there. The fourth thing, he said, I will guide thee. I will guide thee with my eyes. So I got eyes on you. Now, I'm going to be with you wherever you go. Now, I'm going to guide you. Uh, uh, wherever 
you glad I'm not in work? Sometimes we think we are there all by ourselves. Huh? God gave us a sign in and we say, well, Lord, what to do now? I don't know what I'm going to do. Huh? But we've got to listen to God's voice. Amen. Amen. If he sent you out, then you just got to guide. He's going to teach you what to say. He's going to teach you how to do the thing that he wants you to do. Amen. A lot of times we go out and we say, well, uh, uh, I want to witness to somebody today. He always puts somebody in your path. Whether it's on your job, whether it's in the grocery store, whether you go into the hospital, or wherever you go, there's always a sign for us to do. Amen. It's like he set it up for us to do what he has called us to do. Amen. And, and, and we can't never say that he never gave us nothing to do. Amen. Or we're just looking for something to do. We all have our sign right. to do. Amen. He it has instructed us. Amen. He gave us instruction. But we got to learn how to follow instruction. A lot of times we just don't know how to follow instruction. We don't want to be obedient to the word of God. But they say if we listen to his instruction, he what? Yes. Amen. We always want to be blessed. We always want from the Lord, but we don't want to obey. We always want to prosper. Amen. So we want to be prosper, we want to be in good health. Amen. We want to, we want to, we want to be able to pay our bills. Amen. The Bible says the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. We should not be more of anything. Amen. Because he promises us that he's going to take care of us. All right. Amen. Amen. That's instruction yeah. that he gave. Amen. He, he gave the men in the Bible instructions. Amen. The first instruction he gave was in Jesus when he sent the man in the garden. But he sent him for one thing. That was to kill the garden. Mm -hmm. Keep the garden up. Make it look pretty. It was already pretty, right? Mm -hmm. so he wanted to just keep it up. That's all he had to do. He had to just keep it up. Mm -hmm. Just obey what God told him to do. So he was giving him instruction, but he got misled from the instruction that he was given. Because mm -hmm. he only put him there for one thing, was to kill the God. Mm -hmm. Keep. Cultivate. <coughs> Amen. Because he already had made it beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was just like paradise. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like we said, we're going to hell. We go to heaven, we ain't got to be on there. Uh, huh? We ain't got to take that. Uh, huh? We ain't got to worry about our bills no more. <laughs> <laughs> we, we ain't got to worry about nothing in All right, amen. Amen. Because he's taking us to a place that he's already prepared for prepared people. Yes. Amen. amen. He prepared the place for us. Yes. So if we prepare the place for prepared people, what we got to take with us? All we got to do is. Trying to tell us that this is a past. Get ready for the coming of the Lord. But he said, Look, I want you to learn how to be kind to one another. Mm -hmm. I want you to learn how to love. See, these are the instructions. Yeah. Love. See, how, how can you love God and you never see him? And be around your brother and your sister all the time. Mm -hmm. And can't love. He's love. But he gives us this stuff. He teaches us how to live through the scriptures. Amen? We, we can't find love nowhere else but through the word of God. Because he is love. God so loved the world that he gave us what the only God is. His only son. He loved us just that much. So he knows we have messed up. That we have sinned. So he come to bring the people back to himself. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Amen. So he said, look, I'm just going to learn how to uh, follow my instruction. I'm going to give you instruction. I'm going to teach you the thing that you should know. I'm going to teach you what to say to your fellow man. Uh, I'm going to teach you when you have a, a disagreement, how to come to an agreement. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm going to teach you these things. See, sometimes we get mad real quick. And so when you get mad, then you get out of the spirit of the Lord. Amen. You want to go your own way, you know, forget about God's instruction. Amen. 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 We do that. Amen. We forget about instruction. And like I said earlier, sometimes we get uh, uh, instructions for the, put this together. We get instructions on the pill bottle. Amen. The pill bottle says take one a day. We decide we need two a day. 
All right. Yes, from the beginning. How many of you go back to the top of the How many pills you were taking today? Well, I took two. <laughs> but the instructor will say, take one pill a day. Amen. 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 So we got to learn how to follow the instructions. A lot of times it's just, just about being disobedient. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm not missing it. Because of the dollars. Uh, I told you to say, I'm going to take one a day, and you decide to take two a day. Well, you listen, or you just decide, well, I just take two is better. <laughs> <laughs> I take two, but I know that I uh, have it. We'll do it. Amen? We've got to learn how to find instruction. He don't give us instruction for uh, no reason. Amen? Yeah, right. Anytime you get instruction, uh, it's for a reason. Amen. Amen. Amen? If you was in the military and they give you instruction, you're a soldier, and they tell you to go, I want all my soldiers to go this way, and you decide you're going to go that way, and all other soldiers go that way, then there's going to be a problem. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we got not have a problem. Instruction. He gives us instruction. He guides us through everything that we go through, every situation, every problem in our lives, everything that occur, he gives us uh, uh, guidance. Right? He got us. He got us through our hard times in our lives. When trouble comes, he's right there to guide us. Amen. What do you get? Amen. Uh, 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 sometimes you know you be riding down the road and you used to taking your normal ride. And then sometimes the whole spirit says, "No, go this way, go that way." Amen. And I'm not when you do that to me. I think about the Lord kept me from something. Amen. That's right. Amen. He shielded me from something. Amen. Because I used to go this way, but then all of a sudden I went down the way. Amen. I said, well, "Thank you, Lord." Yeah, sometimes you find out that this is what happened over there. That's right. And I said, Lord, I think that's the reason why that you didn't want me to go there. Amen. Amen. But he will protect you. He will lead you. He will guide you. Amen. Amen. He does that for his people. Right. Not just one day, but every day of your life. Yeah. He's right there guiding you. Yeah. He's right there instructing you. This is what I want you to do. This is the person I want you to uh, bless today. Amen. Sometimes we hear that small word, I'm going to be blessed so and so today. Maybe they have a question. Lord, this is what you really want me to do. Yeah. Amen. But well, he gives us instruction. He, you know, he gives us clear instructions of what to do and what not to do and how to do it. Amen. Oh, God, this is the voice of the Lord. We've got to tap into the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Because he's God. He leads. Tell you what to say, when to say it, how to say it. And we, we, we should sometimes it'd be slow speaking. So sometimes we we fast to say something mm -hmm. and instead of being slow, listen. Mm -hmm. and then move. A lot of times we were so quick to move, but we ain't listen to what the word of God is saying to us. Amen. But He's always giving us instruction day by day. He's giving us instruction. When we lay down to sleep at night, He's giving us instruction. When we wake up in the morning, he's still instructing us. See, I want the Lord to lead me and guide me every day. Amen. Amen. And not just one day, but every day. When I wake up in the morning, I say, thank you, Lord, for waking me this morning. Amen. 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 Lord, what would you have me to do today? Listen for his instructions. Amen. He will give it to you. He will guide you. After he gives you your instructions or he gives you your assignment, what to do, then listen to God.
called us to not do certain things. Okay, God, I have called us to do. Sometimes I want you to wake up and I want you to do this, but Lord, I want you to do right now. He's trying to do it, Lord. I can't do it now. Uh, but he's trying to be you your instruction what he wants you to do, but we 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 lazy. Can't get up. Well, I want you to pray right now for sister so and so. But Lord, I'm gonna wake up in the morning, I pray for you. Gave us instruction. Call on who? Jesus. If we call on Jesus, he comes to our rescue. It's the Bible says that there's power in the name of Jesus. Right. Uh, if we call on the name of Jesus, the enemy got to flee. If we call on that name, there's no name but the name of Jesus. But there's power in that name. Amen. Uh, what we have to do is learn how to follow the instruction. The instruction are easy, simple instruction. Call on him, and we call on somebody else. Hmm. But he said, Call on him. I will come to your rescue. Sometimes you call mama, you call daddy, and they say, I can't come right now. Hmm. Uh, but if we call on Jesus, okay. he'll come right on time. Amen. See, he will never fail us, but he'll be there on time. See, that's what I like about Jesus when I'm in trouble. When things just ain't going the way that I thought it should have went. Amen. But I still call on Jesus. Amen. Because I'm depending on him and trusting in him to bring me out of that situation. Amen. So we've got to follow this. We've got to understand that he's promised us that he will guide us. He will lead us. He will keep us. Right there in the palms of the man. And I believe that he's able. Take care of me. Amen. You can take care of me all this time because I've been trusting in him. Amen. Amen. I can't lead to my own understanding. It don't work. Mm -hmm. But when I put my trust 
trust in the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.